Tonight, we have a closer look at a heart study being called a blockbuster. A new study out tonight offers compelling evidence that those popular statin drugs... A class of drugs widely used to lower cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart attack can do the same for patients with normal, even low cholesterol levels. It's a story that's making national news as one of the most important medical discoveries in years. And it all started at Brigham and Women's Hospital. More than 10 years ago... BWH's Dr. Paul Ritkert, director of the Center for Cardiovascular Disease Prevention, identified something that caused heart disease in relatively healthy people. We found out that inflammation uh, is a major cause of heart disease, and we developed a very simple blood test for something called C-reactive protein, or CRP, that's now in wide clinical use among clinicians trying to find out who's a high-risk patient and what can I do about them. Is that the cholesterol-lowering drugs, the statins, that have been shown to lower heart disease rates very dramatically, also lower CRP. So with decades of research pointing towards inflammation and CRP as a marker, uh, Dr. Ricker uh, step by step showed that and showed how it's an important new piece of information about a person's risk. Dr. Mark Pfeffer is a senior cardiologist at BWH. The ability to show that you could change that risk required a major clinical trial. That trial, called JUPITER, involved 18,000 people worldwide. Half the patients were given a statin, a cholesterol-lowering drug that also lowers inflammation and therefore CRP levels. The result? When JUPITER was stopped prematurely, we didn't even know the results, we just knew it was stopped by the safety committee. That's a huge finding, and that meant the results are so conclusive, we no longer want to continue the study. The question has been answered. And that question, answering it, showing a 50% reduction in cardiovascular morbidity and mortality, is about as good as it gets in any study that any of us have done or will do. The conclusion had the medical community buzzing. We've never seen this degree of reduction in heart-related events in any clinical trial that I can ever think of. Perhaps the most important study in the last decade in terms of reducing risk of heart disease. Dr. Ridker himself admitted his surprise at the outcome. After 12 years of work in this field, even I didn't think this was going to be anywhere near this big a win. Dr. Peter Libby, chief of cardiovascular medicine, says this is the kind of study that makes the Brigham a leader in both research and patient care. Well, I think that the C-reactive protein story is a wonderful illustration of our culture of translational medicine at the Brigham, where we unite the best in basic science with the best in clinical medicine. Spurred by this unique environment, the leaders at Brigham and Women's Hospital predict more exciting breakthroughs to come. There are a lot of Ritgers in the Brigham and Women's Hospital, and it's a wonderful place where you can have an idea and pursue it with the support of your colleagues and uh, with the understanding, though, that uh, we're, we're here for today's patients, but we're also here for tomorrow's patients.